Okay, we're looking at um, trigonometric graphs and reading off them. Now, there's only sort of so many things really you can um, you can be asked about these. So I'm going to show you one example, and hopefully you'll be able to apply that to all. Now, this you should know is the y equals sine x curve. All right. If you don't know that, you need to learn it. Um, the others you should you should recognise uh, y equals cos x, which looks something like that. All right. I won't go into detail. Particularly, I think it goes to one and minus 1 and where it crosses you you should know again we got y equals tan x is the other one which goes something like this all right and they uh, yeah sorry y equals tan x there you go now again if you don't know them you need to learn them they are they're pretty crucial to know now it says use the graph below to solve sine x equals minus 0 0.5 for naught x 360 so between naught and 360 well here's naught there and there's 360 there, so the graph. So we, we've got to read off where the sine x graph is at minus 0.5 between those two points. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to draw a horizontal line along minus 0.5. Well, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, excellent. Now, what we're going to be doing is reading down to the x-axis and seeing uh, what, what uh, angle we get there. Now reading there it should be 210 okay and 330 okay so there'd be my two answers now it, you can check that on a calculator by doing um, sine to the minus one if you did on your calculator make sure it's in degrees uh, sine to the minus one of not minus 0 0.5 and your calculator will give you minus 30 degrees now that's obviously outside of this parameter here so therefore it'd be remember the sine curve the cosine curve and the tangent curve all um or just repeat carry on repeating themselves so minus 30 well if i go 30 back from here right and that's where the 330 comes from but you can read off the graph and also remember um it's symmetrical this uh, hold on i'll just get a different color quickly um the graph is symmetrical every one 180 isn't it so if that's 180 that's symmetrical between there and there. So that bit, this bit here, is symmetrical of the curve around 270, which again is another fact you should know about that, meaning that if it's 30 in there, it's got to be 30 out from there. Okay, so just draw a horizontal line at where, where it says, so minus 0.5, I've drawn the line of y equals minus 0 0.5 oops minus didn't come out minus 0 0.5 there all right